Ow. Hang on. Where am I? You got taken over by a nightmare, man. I think it might have made you have a bit of a funny turn, like. Uh, can we have our picture back now? Shut up. All of you, get away from me. What's wrong with this guy? Uh, if you come one step closer, I'll, I'll tear you to... I'll tear your precious picture into tiny pieces. Jeepers, what should we do, Mr. Drippy? I think he's still heartbroken. What's he missing, though? I wonder. Ah, I get it. Same as the Caulifa, isn't it? He's got no restraint, so he can't help himself. He just runs around pinching things willy-nilly. So we need to find someone with some more restraint, do we? What about that captain? Where do we look? Abul has already shared his with us. It's the captain. Uh, this is where your locket comes in handy, isn't it, Ollie? Ollie boy, Castaway Cove ain't too big. We'll find someone with restraint in no time. Let's start looking then, shall we? It's the captain. I'm telling you, it's the captain. I don't care what, what you do. Just do it somewhere far away from me. Go on. Get lost. Oh, captain. Oh, you can't. Okay, maybe it's not the captain. It's totally not the captain. Um. Hmm. Who can it be? Anybody here with some restraint? I'm looking for restraint. Have you seen him? Or her. Don't see any restraint. You know what we should do is sleep again. It's only going to cost us a few guilders and it's going to fully restore our healths. And we can save. Oh, wait. Oh, this is perfect. So it's the governor, huh? He's the one with restraint to spare, is it? Of course he is, man. Makes sense, isn't it? Think how patient he had to be to get them all to come around to this bathing suit idea. Yeah, no kidding. Is something troubling you, friends? Oh, I see that you are not wearing your bathing suits. Do you tire of them so soon? No, sir. It's nothing like that. We were just about to board a ship and leave town. That's all. Oh, a ship, you say? So you, you're you dressed for travel, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, but our letter of passage was stolen, and now we need to ask you a favor, Mr. Governor, sir. I am sorry to hear of your misfortune. <laughs> that sounded so unsympathetic. Uh, what do you require of me? If it is within my power, I will do it. It is. I just need to borrow some of your heart, guy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Governor, sir. We need to help you save, help us save somebody. Coming to the aid of one in need, a very worthy goal. But to help him, we need your strength, sir. My strength? Yes, sir. We need to give him back a piece of his heart that's missing. No. One of the heartbroken in our town? This cannot be. Uh, know what they are, do you? Tidy, then we'll make this quick. As you can see, this young man by here is a wizard. A wizard who can mend the brokenhearted no less. By the beards of the mighty. <clears throat> and the person we want to help has lost his powers of restraint. You have such incredible patience and forbearance, Governor. Would you mind sharing some of it to help mend someone's heart? Hmm, this is unexpected. But of course. Tell me what I must do and I will do it. Just stand there, guy. Neato, thank you so much, Mr. Governor. Uh, tidy, on with the show, Ollie boy. Take heart. And now we have restraint. Fantastic. What is this curious sensation? My heart, it feels so much lighter. Does this mean I have successfully shared a piece of it with you? It sure does. Nice work, golly boy. Now let's go and help out that broken-hearted fellow by the sh by the dock, shall we? Thank you, whatever. I hope to see you again in Castaway Cove. Again soon, young man, wearing your bathing suit, of course. This guy is so gross. Lady, I need just a little bit, just a little cat nap. Just a little nap. A tiny little one. It shouldn't cost me 50, 50 guilders if it's just a, a little, little tiny nap. Yes. Saving the data. Data complete. Data save complete. I trust you had another perfect night's sleep at the cat's cradle. Travel safely now. I will, lady. That's Ollie, Ollie's voice. Okay, uh, we're going. Oh, here's this confusing setup again. We're going here. No, we're not going here. We are going... Yep, this way. Go see. He's just he's just hanging out there waiting for savior for his savior. Okay, guy, I got your heart right here. I got your heart right here. Come on, talk to him. Damn it all! I thought I told you. Leave me alone. Flipping heck, man. He's really starting to get on my wick. He is. Sort him out, will you, Ollie boy? I sure will. I'm gonna give you. 
somebody else's heart. <laughs> I hope you're the same blood type. Restraint! The magic locket of magicalness. Hmm, what did you just do to me? Give me that picture, guy. Hey, give that back. What's the matter? It's just a portrait of some pretty boy. No need to get your knickers in a twist. It's important. It must be. Why would you steal it if it wasn't? Let's just say I can't have it doing the rounds. Tell you what, I'll buy it off you. That's fair, right? No, it's not for sale. We need it. Oh, yeah? Need it for what? Go on, this should be good. If I tell you, will you give it back? Uh, I might. It's a picture of one of the great sages. We need to find him. He's gonna help us defeat Shadar. You what? <laughs> what did you just say? We're going to defeat Shadar, all of us, together. And we reckon this great sage might have some proper powerful magic in it. Ollie Boy is gonna need it. Okay, we told you why we need it. Now give it back. <laughs> <laughs> you lot think you can take down Shadar? <laughs> And you want to drag Pretty Boy here into it, too? We sure do. And he'll help us. I just know he will. You must be even more gullible than you look. That or you're just plain stupid. What a jerk. You realize nobody stands up to Shadar and survives, don't you? Nobody. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, you don't stand a chance. I think we do. Eh? Oliver made my father, Rashad, Believe again, and he saved me too. Rashad? What? The great sage? Rashad? The very same, and he's itching to take Shadar down now. You're joking. If Rashad is. We're not joking. Fine. I give up. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you lot have got me half convinced. All right. I'll take you. I'll show you where to find him. Hmm? Huh? You know him? Yeah, a bit. Nido, thanks so much. Um. I'm Swain. Good to meet you. Swain? Here. I'm not a kid. I'm Oliver. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. Good to meet you, Oliver. I'm Esther. Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. So, I guess we should set sail, huh? This is so exciting, Oliver. Swain. I'm going to start calling him Swine. Uh, oh, while we're doing the introductions, out you come, boy. What? Oh, wow, look at that guy. He's got metal underwear. <laughs> Meet my familiar. That's a chastity belt if I've ever seen one. Why, you, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, wait, let me start that over. Whoa, you have a familiar? You didn't steal it, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. Thank you very much. He's my familiar fair and square. And he packs a punch and a half, I can tell you. Swain and his familiar have joined your party. Fantastic! Hmm, there's something I don't quite trust about this Swain character. He's hiding something. But it sure will be neat to have another friend on our journey, especially one with a familiar. Hey, I'm not just some idiot with a familiar, you know. How about I show you what else I can do since you don't seem to think I'm up to much? Aha! Just what we need. That chest will do perfectly. Oliver, move around so you're closer to that chest over there, will you? Oh, oh, sweet, he can get the green chest. Awesome. Give me a shout when you've got a good clear view of it. I'm going to show you something that'll knock your socks off. Okay, I've got a... I've got a, I've got a pretty clear view. Um, What am I... Move closer, move closer. Okay. Aha, there we go. Prepare to be impressed, boys and girls. Goes. That's pretty awesome. Now listen here. Uh, you see how far away I am from that chest? Pretty fair, right? And you wouldn't think I'd have a hope of reaching it, would you? Well, that's where my pin pickpockets pistol comes in. Man, that's a tongue twister. I just use R to lock onto the target and then press X to fire. Simple, eh? Of course, the nice thing about treasure chests is that they never run away. 
They're what's known in the trade as easy marks. Right then, here goes nothing. So I just gotta do this and uh, right trigger? Was it? Was it? No. It was X. It was right stick to move. You obtained a fling flang f what? Nido! Not bad, eh? I don't get my hands dirty walking up and fiddling around with locks up close. The real professionals just take aim from a comfortable distance and pickpocket the plunder while they pull the trigger. Professional what's exactly? Oh, shut it with the goody-goody stuff, will you? He'll be proper useful to have on to have on side this one. Friends, we will soon set sail. All aboard? Aye, aye, Captain. Come on, everybody. Let's go. All right. You don't. You lot don't have. You you lot don't hang about, do you? Fair enough. Let's get moving. Tidy. Time to see the sea at last. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Hang on a minute, man. You're hopping on board right now. I mean, are you sure you're ready? Going to sea is something to be take not to some. Going to sea is not something to be taken lightly. You know. Just ask my uncle. Die. What do you mean? Well, it's blinking dangerous, isn't it? You better make sure you're in tip-top condition and fully stocked up before we set sail for Autumnia. Gee, I guess you're right. Alright, so, um... I guess I'm gonna do some leveling here real quick. I'm gonna buy some supplies just to make sure. Let's just check what this guy's situation is. Level 19. Uh, let's, let's suit him up with... Man, none of these guys are really equipped with anything. Let's suit him up with this. Turbandit and this Babana guy. Are they different? Yeah. Oh, he's the same as this guy. So let's switch this guy up to here so he has some options. Fling flame, sling stone. Okay. Do we have any sort of weapons for anybody? We do not. The all. Oh, oh, oh. We've got two in the bag. We got one. There you go, buddy. I gotta find out what it was that I picked up. I've got an extra claw too. Sweet. Okay, so you're at least a little bit stocked up. Yeah, I gotta go uh, buy these guys some supplies and, and stuff like that and really just get ready. But uh, first, what was in that bag? Aha! What's this? Allows a familiar to learn the fling flame trick. Ooh! You just have them eat it? Huh. Huh. This little guy. How cool would it be to have a water and fire attack in Sid? I almost feel like I should save it though for the higher level familiars that, uh, that show up down the road. So I think that's what I will do. That other thing too, uh, follow the formula. Sprite do, Sprite do, okay. That girl wants me to make her something, but I don't have like the uh, formula for it, so I guess I can't do it just yet. I have three wet stones. I believe my materials. Stone with permanent wetness means it must be, okay. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna save the game. I'm going to probably do some leveling. I'm gonna steal somebody's heart here in a second. And uh, we'll check back when I'm ready to go set sail, I guess. All right, I have leveled up quite a bit. Um, here you go. Oliver's at level 30, Esther 29, Swine <laughs> 25. Uh, yeah, so 27, 27, 16. I have Percy now. I'm using these two slots to level. So I'm currently leveling these cats. <laughs> If they are not fully equipped, that's because I'm just using them to level. I'm just giving them any leftover. I found a second burning blade, by the way, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I'm just using it to level up, uh, just random guys. Who else uses a sword? Because I just bought Rock Feather for Mighty. This guy, this guy. I need to buy this guy one of these, but I don't, there's none. A waterproof scale that's admired for its toughness being very difficult to break or bend. Plus two in armor. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, oh, this guy's not fully equipped either, which is unfortunate, <laughs> but there's nothing to buy here in town. I didn't go back to Alma Moon, so we're going to go, we're going to sail the high seas and uh, see what life brings us, I guess. Oh, looks like we're ready. I hope. There you are. That is one manly ponytail. We got a little sidetrack. 
The preparations are complete. We sail immediately. Aye, aye, Captain. Way anchor! It weighs a lot. Another voyage lies before us. My heart sings for the seas. Set sail! Alright, this is pretty cool. Wait a minute, is this a sailboat or a tug? Or is that a tugboat? Paddleboat? How exciting this is. This is gonna be fun. Men, the seven seas await. Unfurl the sails! I have to control the ship at any point. That would be pretty awesome. Uh -oh. Shadow, are you straddling? <laughs> and he spoke so highly of himself. Fool, did he really think the guardian of the volcano could defeat the pure-hearted one? <laughs> I fear that executor may be a trifle toothless. <laughs> Perhaps he forgot his orders. Well, Shadar. What next? This time, I shall leave nothing to chance. This time, he will suffer by my own hand. <laughs> So, it has come to this at last. <laughs> and not before time. Your grace's silence, please. Very well, Shadar. I will grant you a new power. The power to summon the storm. You honor me, your radiance. This time, he will be destroyed. Well, that doesn't sound good for me. Do not fail me, Executor. No, feel free to fail her. I'd be fine with you failing her. Failure sometimes is... is a good thing. You have earned a trophy anchor. Oh, awesome! I actually get to control the ship! Ah, the scent of the sea stirs my soul. Now, friends, do you know how to steer a ship? Haha, -ha, fear not! There is no mystery to it. Navigate with L and use R to change your viewpoint. Same as walking. You will master it before long, I'm sure. Uh, should you wish to disembark, head to shore and press X. Oh! Sweet. Then, when you wish to take to the high seas once more, approach the ship and press X to come aboard. Our destination is the far-flung continent of Autumnia, to the northeast of here. That is where you shall find Hamelin. If you should lose your bearings on the open ocean, the world map will, pro will prove a trusty companion. Press R1 whilst aboard the sea cow to consult it, and when you are not uh, aboard the ship, meanwhile, press... what? When you are not aboard the ship, meanwhile... Press R1 to open the local map, then press triangle. With the aid of such a map, there can be no excuse for becoming... I'm not going to get lost, guy. You can now use the world map. Oh, wait a minute. There's a world map? I was always... Map of the world. I was always... What? This has always been here. What are they talking about? I think. Unless, unless, unless... They mean this. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, there's no way I'm going to get lost there. Alright, so where's Autumnia? Northeast, huh? So, wait a minute. Oh, are these are these bosses? He's running away from me. Am I that high a level that you're already running away, pal? Oh, man! I'm not going to fight any of these guys. I want to fight one of these guys. Can I, like, sneak up on him? <laughs> this ship is very maneuverable. Oh, these guys are quick. Oh, wow. I just want to fight one of these guys. Let's see what they're like. I'm just going to... Oh, no, no. Everything's fine over here, guy. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. Dang it! I'm never going to fight one of these guys. Okay. No. Autumnia. Where are you? Where you be at? You are over here. Yep, northeast, just like you said. I wonder what these stars are on the, the Vault of Tears, the Shipwreck Shore. Oh, man. 
the freedom I'm feeling right now is ridiculous. I can go anywhere. I can do anything! Okay, let's go. Um, I'd like to check out this island, but I guess I should get on with the story here. And I'd also like to fight one of these guys at some point. Finally! I just want to see what these guys are all about. Whoa! A hooray and an airhead. Okay, they're, they're electricity based, these things. Um... I wonder what could damage them. Wind? Let's try wind. Uh, the Whirly Whirlies. Uh, no. They are not. They are resistant to wind. How about... Oh, I don't have the, my fire sword anymore. They're resistant to physical attacks too, apparently. Okay. Water? This is me just figuring out what the... Uh, they're resistant to. Wow, that did 70 damage. That's pretty good. Are they still fighting? Beat this airhead sense. Ooh, I can get me an airhead already. Get him. Get him, Esther. Ah, I got an airhead. You tamed the airhead. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Okay. Level up for that guy. Oh! Uh, I can, yes, keep the airhead. Familiar retreat, good. His name is now Cloudy. Excellent. I like that name. That's a good name. Guys, check this out. This guy. This guy is ready to metamorph. Do I have anybody else ready to metamorph? I don't. So let's feed him. His, uh, he's a 10 out of 10 already. Growth limit. I, I boosted him up as much as I could. I guess we feed him a star drop. Look how many drops I have. Ever since I got the the Swain guy, he has been stealing drops like nobody's business. He has a special attack in, in the middle or in battle he can steal. So he steals a lot by himself and, uh, and gets me all kinds of drops. Ooh, you got a little, you got a little suntan on you, don't you? <laughs> Gunther metamorphosed into a burly hurly. Number of different tricks. Oh, sweet. Got a little open slot on him. Uh, let's go over here. Let's check out his tricks. Sling stone and rolling stone. Okay, physical attacks. This guy has crap for magic, so I, I'm thinking of just throwing uh, Lemur over here, Bruce Lemur and Mighty, onto this guy's slot so he can use just the physical attack guys and then having uh, me and Esther focus more on magic. But um, we'll deal with that a little bit later. Let's get on with the main story here. There is no way any of these guys are going to want to fight me. I do sort of want to investigate these small islands and stuff. Can I fight you? Yeah! We got to fight, guys. We got to fight. And these are new. Oh, look at the splisher. That guy looks creepy. Um, let me go with... You know what? Let me try... Let me try a fireball on that guy. Yeah, okay. He's he's uh he doesn't like fire very much. Let me get Mighty out. Oh Mighty doesn't have his fire sword. Dang it. It's okay, he still does pretty good physical damage on this guy. Splisher, attack the splisher. By the way, I have uh, the AI set to uh, Esther is supposed to heal us, and uh, Swain is supposed to fight a different target than we're fighting. So that we spread, ooh! <laughs> so that we spread the damage around evenly. Oh man, I'm gonna catch another one already. This guy looks creepy though. That face. Level four already, huh? Nice, Gunther. Yep. Uh, Splicious. I could not come up with a better name. See his face in that little picture looked better than his face overall. So can I just land anywhere? Can I like go on this island? For instance? And just land? What the heck is on that island? There's a shiny there. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. 
That's a good way of doing it, actually. That's pretty interesting. They restrict your access. Look at this. That is pretty awesome. Let me fight this guy. Hopefully he's not too tough of a guy. Obtained a gnome beard? Is this guy one of the bounty hunts? Because... Yeah, let's take him on. He might be a bounty hunt. There's some... Oh, cat purse purloiner. They do not like water. Bubble bath on... Uh, this guy. So I hopefully get them all in a line here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is nice. Let's go bubble bath again. Ouchies. Try to get them lined up. Bubble bath. This guy. Fantastic. Heck, why not use bubble bath again? These guys are still pretty high in health. Uh, I don't like that line, though. I want to line it up a little better. So I can hit, them, hit all three of them. This might work. Oh, he moved that guy. Alright, let's get some... Let's get some physical attackers out there. Finish him off. Why am I attacking... Oh, this is, this is the tough guy. Yeah, yeah, you got him, mighty. Look at mighty go. Let's get that magic. What can I say? Sweet. It's a gift. It's a gift. Okay, leveling up. Sid, reached, Sid, Sid learned healing rain. Got to reach level six. Bounty hunt complete. Yeah, it was a bounty hunt. I bet that healing rain is uh, a heal all parties trick. Bubble bath, water bomb. Healing rain. Blessed rain falls from above, restoring a small amount of health to the, to allies. To all allies. Hmm. You know what? I want to keep... Let's go like this for now. Because she deals in... Uh, she deals with uh, healing. Okay, we'll leave the bubble bath and we'll bring out healing rain. And hopefully she'll use it wisely. This guy's got healthy glow, which is also a healing effect. And she's got... He's got... Or she's got this guy. This guy's got... Yeah, magical attack, physical attack. Eh, let's go with that for now. I miss Bruce Lemur. Now, what do we got on this island? Should we explore it? I think we should. Is this a, uh... Oh, there's another bounty hunt down there. A flashing blue... We got here. Everybody's running away from me here too, so they obviously think that I'm way too tough for them. Are there any shinies on this island? Come on, I'm just gonna push X and hope I run into something. No. Nope. Is this a sleep of foul? Oh, it's a hippie foul. Fancy your chances, do you? Ah. Oh, this, yeah, these guys are these guys are not a problem. Sandblast, hit me with your sandblast. Do it. I dare you. Oh! I am really doing well in terms of go, Esther. Dang it. Uh oh, hurry, hurry, hurry! Yes! I caught me a, a hippie fowl. That's like the evolved sleeper fowl. That's pretty good. Nice, everybody levels. Almost everybody. He mer oh, petrifying poke! That's his final. His final level thingy. Uh, hippo, sure, that's not really a very creative name, game, but. Alright, no more. No more pit stops. We're going straight to the island. Uh, but we have to give this guy his... Uh... Okay, so he's got Cut Loose, which is an all-enemy attack. Point attack, point attack. We get rid of Roly Poly. 
or Pebble Pelt. Let's get rid of Roly Poly. It costs 15 magic points, and I'm not sure the difference in damage is worth it. Oh, Slice and Dice is his final one, I think. Or maybe they keep getting it. I don't know. Petrifying Poke. It's also a point attack. Turns a single enemy to stone. Hmm, that could be interesting to use. All right, let's get back on that ship. There's a, there's a frog here. Oh, I can talk to animals, by the way. Check this out. Nature's tongue. Nothing happens. No, 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 guy. Wait. Oh, he disappeared. No, he's right here. Why? Maybe he wasn't, uh... Okay, I guess I wasn't in the correct position. Ah, this is the life. Plenty of food, gently lapping waves. It's a crab's paradise. Of course, that's not what I thought when I first watched up here. I was convinced I was going to end up living like a hermit. But this place is so much more relaxing than Castaway Cove. I've really come out of my shell, you know? And I'm never going back. So you used to live in Castaway Cove, huh? You Were you friends with another blue crab who lives there? Uh, what? Pinch me if I'm dreaming, but can you really understand what I'm saying? And how do you know about my friend, the one who lives in Castaway Cove? Your friend asked us to look for you, mister. He was real worried, see, and wanted to know you were okay. He, he was worried? I see. Hey, could you give him a message for me? Something like, I'm having a great time out here, there's loads of food and weather's cracking. Scuttle over and join me soon. All right, I'll tell him. He sure will be happy when he hears you. He, when he hears you're okay. Thank you, young man. I'd shake you, but my by the claw if I were a little taller. So yeah, in Castaway Cove, there was a there was a mini mission, side mission, where I talked to this crab who was worried about his friend. <laughs> oh hey, I see a shiny up there. Just don't get in my way, guy. I don't. I already promised the people we're going straight to the island. I just want to get to the island now. An angular. Sounds awesome. Okay, gonna get in the ship. Going straight to the island. No pit stops, I promise. I do want to fight some more of these guys, but maybe we'll do that in a in a suit in a coming episode. Look at that thing in the water. That seems like a tough thing. Anyway, off to the island. 